Hey everybody, today we're going to go over how to book your certification uh, for Fortinet within Pearson View. First things first, we're going to go to train.fortinet.com to get trained. Uh, it's completely free. So went and found the certification I was looking for. I was going to go through the SASE certification. So went and hit the get started button and found out, um, as you see down here, there's two different exams that you need to take to get the certification. Uh, today I'm going to be booking the Fortis SASE administrator exam but if we get in here first things first went through all the training so all the training's been checked off uh, went through this one does have a lab demo which is effectively just a recording of somebody going through the interfaces uh, not actually a hands-on demo but good to just look at it There's a whole bunch of different deployment guides I've looked at these previously so I didn't open these up within the training portal uh, and then I did go through the uh, sample questions uh, and after I book this, I am also going to make sure that I go and submit these ISC squared CPE credits, but just went over to Pearson view and to their Fortinet site. And we're going to quick sign in here. Check out the different exams here. I'm just going to look for sassy. We'll see. Yep. There it goes, pops it right up. So I actually know that I have a, an in-person test center that I like to go to that's pretty close to me. If not, there is the online booking version. You can traditionally get uh, booked sooner on that, um, but I just recently checked it out and it was about the same wait for a couple days, uh, whether or not it was in person at my test center or there. Plus I like the fact that at a test center, I don't have to prep up my work environment at home to be spotless and not have a second monitor. Uh, so I prefer just going into a test center. I can quickly go do that. It kind of gets me completely in the mindset of I'm taking a test as well. Uh, so less worries for me uh, and it's just close and easy. But again, I know a lot of people do not have one close by. So the uh, online version is available there. So just make sure that I've got my photo ID, make sure uh, I know what to expect. There's a little video on that. And there are some things that you can bring, um, but not a whole bunch. So if you're interested in those, you can check those out. Um, I've done this plenty of times at this point. So I'm just gonna go next, I'll just put in my information here. All right, so there's uh, my information. Yours is obviously going to be different depending on if you're a customer or a partner. So here's just a bunch of policies again. I've read through these before, uh, but make sure you're checking those out. So it should automatically populate your address on some of the locations closest to you. You can go and select uh, multiple locations just to see which ones have availability. Um, I know the one the closest to me is going to have some good availability, so we'll choose that. We'll select next. So I am going to look for Thursday the 15th. And it looks like we've got some appointments in the morning. I'm going to explore more times. And it's going to break down all the different ones I've got available. So I've got a 9 a.m. and then basically from 9 until 1 p.m. Uh, actually, there's stuff until 2.45 that day. Uh, I like to take these nice and early in the morning, get them knocked out, get on with my day. So I'm going to choose the nine o'clock appointment and hit book this appointment. So now that that's done, I'm going to review all of this. I can add another exam if I had multiple that I wanted to, but right now this is the only one that I want to look at. So then the last bit is to proceed to checkout. Um, this exam does cost $200 but I have a voucher from my employer, so I'm going to proceed to checkout and we're gonna drop down this voucher promo code area. I'm gonna paste in my promo code, but you could also choose to pay with a card. So I'm gonna grab that real quick. All right, so we've got our voucher input here. We're just going to apply it. And now it's saying it's already been paid for, so we'll hit next. And now I have all of this to last last check before submitting it and paying for it all. Um, 
it does look like it's everything that I am looking for. So we're going to submit that order. And I got a confirmation email coming my way. And I am actually going to add this to my calendar. Do that to my personal Google. So I've got this uh, exam calendar invite here. Uh, I've blurred out some of the information, but it does have the location automatically put in there. It's got the time from the start to the end. So I'm just going to hit save that and that's it. So I'll uh, be going through again before I actually go take the exam and I'll be going through uh, what I like to do is typically go through each of these lessons again. Uh, I actually, I'll either just rewatch them if I don't feel comfortable with them or I'll just skip right to the couple questions that come throughout there for the knowledge checks uh, and just quick complete those again, as well as go through this uh, sample question list again, just to make sure that my head's in the game. I know what kind of questions they're going to be asking um, and make sure that if I'm getting something wrong in this or any of the reference or the knowledge questions that I am reviewing that information before going into it. So hopefully this helps. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.